Alright guys, uh, what you're looking at here is a little bit of a test setup on a new um, capacitor we've been working on. Um, we're calling it the Trilene capacitor. Um, that being myself and my mate Brian, um, the uh, industrial chemist. Now, it's got uh, graphene in it, of course. Um, and we're using two stainless steel mesh plates, very fine mesh, um, like the stuff they use in uh, heavy duty flywire or fly screen doors. Um, and we actually had a roll of that, so bonus. And there's two other compounds in there as well, which have greatly improved the efficiency of this cell. As you can see, it's extremely thin. And to show you how thin it actually is, we have three millimeters there, and the plastic itself that the cell is in is actually two millimeters. The cell itself is only one mil thick, so um, extremely thin. And the other di the other dimensions are thirty mil. By 38 mil. 30 mil by 38 by, well, let's say 1.5, um, because there's a bit of glue in between the plastic as well. It's uh, about 1.7 volts, an odd voltage, but that's what it come up as. Um, so we'd have to, uh, of course series connect them to get a higher voltage and it doesn't seem to matter how big the cell is the voltage is always around 1.7 to 1.8 volts um, so we're just going to do a little bit of a demo here now with the current limited to 100 milliamps it takes about three minutes to charge to full and the capacity we're yet to work out but um, what we're going to hook it up to first it's just a small garden oscillator circuit with that LED on it. If we can get it on there, of course, and you can see that it uh, drives it quite well. Maybe you can't see. Now you can see. And also on this side, um, we have ourselves a large, um, well not a large, but a fairly decent size um, DC motor. And um, to show you that there's no batteries hooked in it, just for some dodgy sort of uh, test that some people do. Um, there is no batteries, it's just a motor, and I've glued a fan on it. And um, we can. Uh, hook our cell onto that and um, you will see that it runs quite fine around and around and around it goes uh, there's going to be those that think that our cell is a solar cell or a cap should I say I'm calling it a cell not a cap it's a little bit different um, just a bit of sandpaper we can chuck over the top and as you can see nothing happens And that will run that motor for um, about an hour and a half. And of course, it'll run one of these uh, little motors here for about uh, four hours. No problem at all. So, um, there you go. Our uh, new U Butte very thin, very small, very powerful capacitor and um, the next thing we're going to do is build a slightly bigger one and start playing around with the uh, mixers in our uh, Trifene mix. So there you go, the new Trifene super cap going to be a uh, graphene cap killer for sure. So um, 
the graphene caps that I've made about that size, even twice the size, uh, won't come anywhere near that. The two extra um, substances that are in it uh, can be found in your kitchen. You use them for cooking. So uh, nothing dangerous about that little cell. Not that you'd go eating graphene or anything like that anyway. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, we'll keep you updated on it. Cheers guys.